Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay. Just wanted to do a quick video today on a product I've got from AliExpress. I'm not trying to sell this to you but it's uh, made life a lot easier with the uh, DSX900. Uh, it's a battery uh, foam sprayer, uh, snow foam sprayer. There's some snow foam there. I've cleaned the Vosges already. Absolutely brilliant for the wheels guys. I was having a problem keeping the uh, gold wheels clean. Uh, spray foam it, leave it 10 minutes, wash it off, takes everything off and leaves hardly any watermarks. So I'm just starting uh, doing the uh, Royal Enfield and the uh, snow foam is uh, quite expensive stuff. The actual liquid that's over there on the wall but you only need a tiny amount of uh, the liquid in mixed with water to uh, clean the bike and it just dissolves everything guys. The wheels, it's uh, really handy for the wheels so it dissolves all the grime on the wheels, gets all the oil off and uh, works a treat but it also works with any detergent in the uh, sprayer itself and they say you only need a tiny bit in to uh, foam your bike up leave it for 10 minutes and then rinse off and uh, I'll show you the results in a minute when I uh, get it all done and uh, rinsed off so yeah guys you only need a tiny bit of this stuff in the uh, bottle maybe a cap full of the uh, snow foam in the machine to spray and the machine will probably uh, on one charge will probably wash a car and your bike or maybe a couple of cars easily on uh, full charge it takes about 15-20 minutes to charge the uh, unit up but uh, yeah this stuff really does dissolve the uh, gunk off your wheels and everything so uh, I'll use the rest of the foam up in here and then we'll, uh, we'll rinse it off see if it's got some of the gunk off the, uh, the engine the wheels so yeah guys, both uh, bikes detailed, the Royal Enfield's nice and clean there, paintwork's nice and clean, nice and shiny. So the uh, foamer was a good buy, it cleans all the crud off pretty quick. You can see the anodized wheels looking pretty clean now. Uh, so both bikes clean, chains oiled, paintwork uh, cleaned up. Go to the Vosges and have a quick look. Now the main problem on the Vosges is these anodized gold wheels on the Vosges. One of the reasons I bought the foamer to uh, dissolve all the crud off them. And one tip I will give you when you do this, you've got to be careful you don't get any on the uh, discs. But uh, use a, a tyre dressing. It's only a cheap one from a local Chinese shop, I think it's about €3, €3.95. Euros, euros it lasts quite a while. But Lightly dress your tyres after you've uh, cleaned them. that will keep uh, the heat of the sun off and stop them cracking. There is a slight lubricant in this. But the added advantage, what I always do, I always spray the anodised uh, part of the wheel, the alloy wheel. Uh, very light film on there and uh, that will give it a, a very slight oiled protection to the anodised wheel. Like I say, don't get it on the disc guys because you're going to make your discs really slippy. But just spin the wheel, give it a light spray to coat it and that will stop any uh, crud or oil getting onto the actual wheel itself almost like spraying uh, oil on our bikes when we were kids we used to spray it WD-40 and all sorts all over everywhere on our bikes stop and rusting same thing on the back tyre uh, you can see how clean uh, she's looking now the cleanest it's been in a long long time no soap streaks anywhere nice and shiny everywhere everywhere nice and clean engine underneath the engine spotless guys so same thing again you can see on the rear wheel there nice and clean on the rear wheel dress the side walls are both they're totally dry now and the wheels are dry there's nothing on there the residue's dried on there it's a quick drying residue that'll go on there but next time you clean the bike it'll uh, it'll wash off if you use the foamer again but it just gives you a protective film on there you can feel it where it hasn't dried it's almost like a, a, a thick grease that's gone on there because there is a grease in the uh, in the product itself and uh, I tend to do most of the rubbers I don't do the front foot pegs but because they're quite slippy under your feet but anything rubber on your bike or plastic there needs a bit of protection from the sun or the elements a slight pr spray of uh, tyre protection or tyre dressing will do the trick so there we are guys both bikes clean I'm going to get a cold drink because it's getting them for 40 degrees and then I'm going to get them down the other house uh, and put them away before they get too hot and start cooking so guys give me a like give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and uh, watch out for videos and uh, add-ons I've got in the near future thanks for watching